all of life has proteins. So our human cells have proteins. And the same is true for viruses, even though they're not cells, uh, like we think of technically, um, right? They have proteins. A virus right, is kind of is made up of kind of two main things. Um, one is, uh, is a protein shell and then genetic material. So this is a 3D printed model I made uh, of proteins from the human papillomavirus. And um, these proteins form together, each one of these kind of colored pieces is made up of five different proteins. And you put a bunch of them together, you make this kind of icosahedral shell. And then inside, uh, I've represented the genetic material here as a red strand. And that's basically essentially what a, a virus is, um, its structure is made up of. So in this case, we can see, right, the, uh, the protein is making, its function is to make a shell, a protective shell around it. Some viruses also have a plasma membrane or a lipid membrane around them. I, I haven't quite figured out how to model it yet. Maybe a plastic bag or something. Like I mentioned, the, the spike protein kind of has two main roles for the virus. One is to recognize and bind to human cells. Um, and so that kind of the top part of it is going to recognize another protein that's on the cell surface. So if imagine my arm is the cell surface, it's going to connect to a protein there. And uh, the protein that it recognizes in human cells is called ACE2. Once it recognizes that uh, ACE2 protein, there's a more kind of complicated process in which the spike protein actually unfolds and makes a, it's like a long, thin structure and allows it to kind of stick into the, uh, the plasma membrane basically fuse the plasma membrane of the virus with the plasma membrane of the cell. It all has to do with the shapes and uh, particularities of the, uh, of the spike protein and the ACE protein. And I don't know if you can see, but right, the surface is all really bumpy and each of those little kind of little bumps represents an individual atom. And the structure of the spike protein is, you know, uh, specific in that the surface here is going to recognize that ACE2 protein, sort of like um, like a puzzle, right? A, a, you know, a puzzle piece that fits just right, or people kind of use the analogy of a lock and the key, right? And all it comes down to the shape of the proteins, um, and also some with with charge, right? So some amino acids have a positive charge, some have a negative charge. So you can imagine, right, each of these dots might be kind of like a little magnet. So that connection and finding the right shape and connection is also kind of dependent on surface charge. Yeah, so this is where it's kind of cool is that, um, right, these are mRNA-based viruses. And I guess we should say what mRNA is. Um, mRNA is, you know, genetic material that's going to encode for a protein, has instructions or information to make that protein. So in, uh, in the simplest case, we, you know, I'm using this red pipe cleaner to represent the genetic material, you know, inside a virus. Um, and so for the spike protein, there's an mRNA that carries instructions how to make that protein chain, right, our kind of green chain of amino acids, right, to put all these little beads in the correct order. So with these vaccines, what they do take the they take the mRNA sequence for the spike protein, right, and they put it in a, a special package and deliver that inside your into your human cell. Um, and once it's in the cell, your body is going to make that protein. Some of that protein is going to end up on the surface of your cell, and then that's where the immune system kind of takes action. This is a foreign uh, protein, right, and we're going to try to seek out and destroy that that protein. The mechanism: How do we get that? mRNA into the cell in some ways is kind of like uh, the way the viruses do it. Um, with the vaccine, it's encapsulated in this kind of lipid um, droplet. And right, you can think of it as, it's sort of like a plasma membrane. And in some ways it's very much like our virus, right? It's just a simple package with genetic material inside. And then the, the role of the virus is to get that genetic material inside. Uh -huh.